What is up everybody? It's your boy, Chef Bone, bringing you another YouTube video. Today's a different kind of video, so I'm gonna switch it up and I'm bringing you a what is in my basketball bag video. Right here is my basketball bag. I've had this thing since, gosh, I used it for my sophomore year of high school. This is a regular backpack and switch it to my basketball bag in my junior year of high school. So I've had it for a while, like, oh gosh, what's that? Four and a half, five years almost in that area, something like that. So I've been holding on to this thing for a long time. It's been my basketball bag for about four years, three and a half years, something like that. I use it for everything. When we go up to Gus's, AAU tournaments back in, when I played AAU, um, high school games, all of that. I've used it for everything. I still use it to this day to keep everything I like when I go out and hoop in my bag. So today, I'm gonna show you guys what's going on, what I have in my bag, and I hope you guys enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on the video. I post on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Mondays are whatever I'm feeling. Wednesdays are reaction Wednesdays, and Fridays are kind of whatever video I'm feeling again. So stick around if you want reaction videos and stuff like that. You can get it from here. Lots of basketball content coming on this channel. I play video games here and there, but I don't know how much I'll be doing that anymore. So let's get into the video. It's your boy Chef Bone. Deuces. All right. So I'll lay it right here. We're gonna start with the pouch on the top of the bag. So first thing I'll pull out, we got beats, right? Gotta listen to some tunes before games, all that kind of stuff. They are white, they are white wireless beats. Look like this. So we'll set these over here. Next, keep a pair of socks on me. Always gotta have some elites on you, always, just in case, you never know. Um, cough drops. Actually, these, I was I was sick, I remember playing basketball one time. Uh, I've always had these in there ever since, so I got cough drops on me. You never know, might be an essential. Next, ace wrap, okay? You never know, you might sprain your ankle, you might roll your ankle and you gotta keep playing, you throw some of this on and you're good for the rest of the game. You gotta have stuff like this in your bag. That comes with athletic tape too. You need the athletic tape and the pre-wrap, okay? You never know what's gonna happen in a basketball game, so you gotta stay prepared. So you got all that. Next, a headband, right? I never wore a headband before, like in high school and stuff. Now that my hair is a bit longer, when I sweat and gets in my face, so I throw a headband on. They call me headband bone. No, they don't. But you already know. Next, we got the white shooting sleeve, okay? I don't wear shooting sleeves too often, but you know, you, you never know what's gonna happen. You might have to pull the shooting sleeve out. Again, apparently I have two white shooting sleeves. So you gotta have the white shooting sleeves on you at all times. You gotta look like Hazel Mello, Jello, favorite color yellow. Shout out to OSN. Why are y'all not doubling me? That's fall away, fade away, Hazel Mello, Jello, Jello. Oh my color yellow, what's up? And of course, you gotta switch it up and give them with the black shooting sleeve too, okay? I don't know why I have so many damn shooting sleeves, but I do. So black shooting sleeve is an essential as well. Now I'm gonna get to the inside contents within the actual basketball bag. Right after I tell you, I got a pouch right here, right? So I'll show you what's in here real quick. Nothing crazy. We just got some court grip. Um, I got this like my senior year of high school and it's still full and I do not recommend it because it just attracts dust. It sticks for like I don't know, five minutes maybe, and then you're stuck wiping even more than you had to before. Do not recommend this unless you wanna put it on every five minutes, which is really annoying. Right here is a shot grip. Um, I, bought, I don't know when I bought this. Basically, you put it on your hands and it's supposed to keep your palms off the ball with your shooting hand, so you're only shooting with your fingertips. So it's not supposed, your ball, the ball's not supposed to lay in here across, um, I don't even know, like your lower knuckles right in this area. So ball should lay right here and here and should never touch here. So you can always release and get a nice, nice release. So I got that in there. All right, now the actual inside of the bag. Let's get to it. Starting off, my basketball. I've had this thing since my junior year of high school, I'm gonna say. Uh, it is the official MHSAA, which is Michigan High School 
Athletic Association, MHSAA. So this is the ball we use in all basketball games here, high school basketball games in Michigan. Um, and I bought it just because, you know, you got to practice with the game ball that you use. So that's the reason I got this ball. I also do use, uh, well not anymore, but I did use an Evolution before that. Evolution is by far my favorite basketball. I believe it's made by Wilson. If you have that ball, definitely the best ball you can buy. Next are my actual shoes. I believe these are Curry 2s. I don't remember. I haven't bought shoes since high school. Um, these things are pretty worn out. But in high school, I used to hoop in different shoes every every uh, season. Had lots of different shoes. I switched up shoes throughout the season from LeBron's to Kobe's, Curry's, Kyrie's, all of them. Uh, Hyper Dunks, all that kind of stuff. So this is the shoe I've been hooping in since my senior year of high school. Uh, you can see it's definitely worn out. Um, traction on these things, still really good. I still love these shoes, they're great for me. Um, but I'm looking to buy new shoes. Comment below what shoes I should get. I'm looking at the Kyrie's. I may wait for them to drop a Kyrie 5 though because Kyrie 4s have been out for a little while. So if they drop that, I might pick up the Kyrie 5s. Might do a performance test in them, you never know. Uh, so yeah, we're hoping in the Curry 2s. Next, Big Beats, all right? We got the over the head. I think these are the solos. These are like some of the first beats that dropped. They still work perfectly fine for me, so I don't see another, or I don't see a point to buying another uh, headset if I don't need any more headphones like that. So these still work good, so I'm gonna still use them. They're nice, I love them. Had them since like my sophomore year of high school, still balling on them. So yeah, definitely still enjoying these. Next, leg sleeves. I don't always wear leg sleeves. In high school, I did always wear leg sleeves. Never a shooting sleeve in high school. But I always wore the leg sleeves. Um, you can see there's a hole in this one right here. No holes in this one. Um, I. I don't know, I liked them just in case I did dive. I didn't dive very often, which is probably not very good to say, but in case I did dive, in case anything happened, I always had these on just to protect my knees, because you know, you, if you blow out your knees, if you not, not that these are gonna protect from blowing out your knees, but if you do anything to hurt your knees, anything, uh, your knees are the one thing you need in basketball to play. So you gotta protect your knees, you gotta protect your skin, you gotta protect all that, so these come in handy. And I had this one leg sleeve. I don't know where the uh, other black one went. So if I wanna click Lonzo and I wanna wear the one leg sleeve, I go to this boy. Uh, you can see these I wore in like my sophomore year of high school. Uh, they're pretty torn up if you can see. So wore these quite a bit in high school. But yeah, that was a quick video. I hope you guys do enjoy. There's a lot of stuff I keep in my basketball bag. I also keep water bottles. Um, on game days, you need your uniform. Uh, I wore a uh, like a padded like undershirt kind of thing under my uniforms in case you get hit in the ribs, anything like that. Taking contact, it absorbs it. It's nice to have. I wore the same thing on my uh, for underwear too for compression shorts. I got pads on those. You never know. Charlie horses that protect from Charlie horses, which really really do hurt. So I always keep that in my bag. I always keep the jerseys I need in my bag, extra clothing for tournaments, um, extra like sandals, which usually I show up to the uh, tournament in, but extra shoes like that in case you go out to eat or something like that. Um, make sure you gotta have that, that extra t-shirt, extra shorts, extra socks for after the tournament, um, in between when you don't wanna be sitting in those sweaty clothes, but yeah. I think that's everything that I normally keep in my basketball bag. If there's anything that you guys keep in your basketball bag that I, you guys think I should keep in my bag, drop it in the comments below and let me know. Um, other than that, it's been your boy Chef Bone. Look out for a video on Wednesday and Friday. We do this every single week, so make sure you hop on board, drop a subscription to the channel, become a part of the squad, support your boy Chef Bone. Road to 200, not much, but we're still on the grind. Uh, other than that, it's been your boy, Deuces. Hey, hey. She say, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. 50 dub, I even got it tatted on me. 81, they'll bring the crashers to the party. And you know.